welcome back to another video. Today is the last day of Saturday's fixtures, I think, which is going to be Chelsea at Everton FC. From, uh, yeah, at Goodison Park. Uh, all the new signings have been updated, which isn't a lot actually for Everton, like Neil and a few others. I put in Kukorea just now because that transfer happened like five hours ago. So, um, yeah, Calvert Lewin, Gordon, Ali. Tarkovsky, Mikolenko, you can see over there as well. You can hear this cheery Everton music that I hate so much and I want to kick you if I made it because I'm a Liverpool fan. Um, if it wasn't plain obvious about how much I hated Everton. I think Pickford will be the captain today. The lineups are all going to come in first for Everton. Jordan Pickford starts and go a five back of Ben Godfrey, Yerry Mina, Michael Keane, James Tarkovsky, and Vitaly Mikalenko. At the Alba and Alex Awobi to play the two hard in the field. Steli Ali at Cam with Calvert Lewin and uh, Gordon in front in absence of a Charleston who's gone to Spurs. I forgot Calvert Lewin was injured. They haven't signed a striker, so um, yeah, too bad on them. Mendy, we have a five back at Aspel, Lequeta, Thiago Silva, Kula, Bali, Kukurea, and Reed James. N'Golo Kante and Matthew Kovacic, Mason Mount holding on this cab with Sterling and Kai Havertz placed in those forward positions. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Chelsea will kick us off at Goodison Park then, and hopefully this will be a much more interesting contest than the last game. I'm through to Havertz, and it's Pickford forced to make the early save. Hopefully, for Everton, he will be the McCarthy of the video, and Angela Kante also shown a yellow card for, um, well, basically just snapping James Tarkovsky's leg in half, ruining probably Everton's whole season worth of signing a centre back. They do need to sign a striker though. And I'll just show you the corner because I don't feel there's nothing that can come from it. Well, Everton have got some really good aerial presence as well. Sterling's gone short. He's found Kante, Thiago Silva, dealt with, oh it's fallen to Mount, great save and it's turned in by Havertz on the following, Kai Havertz strikes first at Goodison Park, Chelsea draw first blood, Kai Havertz showing what he used to do on the German streets of Leverkusen, as Chelsea fans are quite actually a lot of them at Goodison Park, take pride there we are, Pickford, Tarkovsky, big mistake there. He goes for the wrong option, I think. Pushed out by Pickford, can't recover in time. He'd have to think what his defenders are doing. Um, he don't know what Kai Havertz doing. Can Everton bounce back here? James, Kante. Kante, oh, what a goal! It's 2 new in 15 minutes. This may be a very long day. To the Everton fans. Oh, Everton, where's Carlo Ancelotti when you need him? At one minute, he's managing a better club. Brilliant finish from Engel Kante there. James, great control. Why is there a flag in the way? There we are. And then he's just thunderbolted into the bottom corner. I'm afraid Pickford, no chance, unless he is superhuman. I think I may have graced his fingertips there. Unfortunate. I'm going to praise it England number one all, all game though. Can can Everton bounce back from this? Sterling picking up a booking now. And Chelsea are playing dirty, but they are they are getting the goals. Sterling like no -uh, no dribbling on my watch. I don't think he can really expect not to get a book there. He's lucky to not get a red. He's into a Wobi and he's dragged it wide. The one opportunity, he just needed to place it on target. I think he had more time than he realised. Oh, that's a pain. That really is a pain, isn't it? Chelsea still keeping that clean sheet. He's gone for it and Mendy's turned it out. It's a great save. Or, Ch or Everton. Coming a bit relentless now. Decore. Over the top towards Calvert-Lewin. Heads it into Gordon and he just can't find him in the end. Ali will pick it up to Iwobi, to Kore. Iwobi dropped to Gordon for Calvert-Lewin as well and it's out and they've kept it in. Chelsea, fair play to Delhi. Through to Calvert-Lewin and it's right at Mendy. Everton 
pressing a bit more. I think a goal before half time is what they're pushing for. Hopefully even to draw up the playing surface. It's a great save by Mendy nonetheless. Swung in high from Gordon, caught by Mendy. His mount. Switching it out to Reese James. See what he can do with it. Think to Batten and Sterling's not waiting the header. Kovacic will pick up the follow-up. Kukurea into Sterling. Back to Mount Kante. Oh, I tried to look for a second. Got a bit green. It's Calvert-Lewin. He's through by Ali and it's Mendy again. This time with his balls. Jesus Christ. That must have been painful. And Godfrey and they've lost it out to Kukurea. Kovacic. Havertz. Mount Kante and it's into the hands of Pickford. I have more highlights in this half. First 45 minutes than I had for the whole blinking Spurs game, didn't I? But um, nonetheless, can, yeah, I don't think they'll get the goal before half time, but Chelsea might. Is Kukurea. Don't ask me why he's number 34, I don't know. I should have edited that, but I forgot to. And too bad, here we are. Godfrey will defend this and that will be half time, surely. There we are. So, a couple of close calls. Everton almost levelling things up. If their Kepper and Girl probably be 5 0, and they, they only have four shots. But, um, Engelo can see a handful for defenders, but being a CDM, that's a bit bit different of a statistic than he would have probably liked to have had. But, um, half time, 2 0. Let's get into the second half. So, second half, Everton will kick off at the home ground. Let's see if they can pull it back. Mikalenko set to chase. Mikalenko's ball in, Calvert-Lewin. Back out. Into Deli Ali. Awobi. Ali. Awobi. Don't know what to do with it. It takes a deflection. Oh, it's off the post. Oh, and Chelsea live to see another day, but that was tight when well, it is Calvert Lewin and it's in this time Ali's deflected shot hits the post Lewin buries in oh the pass is just beautiful Everton play they've deserved it I am a Liverpool fan but they have deserved it Uobi Decore put on a plate you can't get more simple of a finish than that Everton are back in it 2-1 Corner, man. Chelsea have made their first substitution and Kai Havertz will make way for Timo Werner. He will try and seal the deal for Chelsea against a very resilient Everton side here. Stubborn Everton side. Through by Calvert-Lewin. Abdullah Decore. Lewin is Ali to Gordon and it's yet again another great reflex save by Edouard Mendy. Keep Everton at bay. I, I do have a feeling that they will find a second here. James. Into Kante. Now Mount will have a drive. Kante will take the shot on. Poor and wide. He's going to dig at Diaz for that golden boot again. Maybe even push from the game. Sorry, skipped it. Chelsea made a substitution. Kovacic will come off for Connor Gallagher, who returns on loan in Crystal Palace, who eked out a narrow draw against Arsenal. Oh, it's Werner. He's played, played through and he sealed the deal. Sterling playing through Timo Werner. Oh, I don't know if the camera caught that. It might have. Um, here we are. Conor Gallagher also involved in the build-up. Sterling with a through ball. Smashes it in top bin. Everton, I think this came from hard to impossible now super sub Burnus could seal the deal here at Goodison Park celebrating a Kukurea it is possible let's see if they can do it though Ali played through to Lewin and Mendy yet again forced to make the save can't tell you how many times I've had to say it this today with three videos filmed not Mendy but just all the other keepers now Gordon for the corner. Can Everton make something of it here? Yerry Mina's worked his way into the box. But first of all, we do have a substitution. First one for Everton. Iwobi will make way for Allen, which is surprising. I 
defensive substitution here. Gordon. Gordon's corner. Lewin meets it. And it's another corner for Everton. Can they eke something out of here? He did make contact with it. I think it was just out by Silva. Gordon swung in again and Mendy punches this one out. Thought he'd claim it as Piloqueta. And it's for Ali Tarkovsky. The Corre is going to take a shot and it's wide. Wide. Alan. Oh, ruptured against Silva. Delhi. Alan. The Corre. Into Godfrey. Ben Godfrey working his way up from right back. And yet again, another save forced out by Ben, not Benjamin. Uh, don't want that little rat. Um, Edward Mendy. And another corner for Everton. Mina heads it. Just too wide. I don't think he got the right technique on that one. You know, hits the side of his face, not facing towards goal. You see the frustration there. As I think it's become a little bit impossible. How long? 70. Well, 14 minutes. Can they do it? Sterling. Kukurea. And Keen well in. And I think there's another substitution to be made. It's time for Chelsea. Rhys James will make way for young Trevor Chalabar. Who's been quite quiet these past few months. Which in pre-season, no transfer talk about him. And Sterling's offside. Will be Everton's substitution. I can't say it'll be his final one. Damari Gray, I think this is one they should have made a long time ago. Kante. Chalabar. Dinked into Sterling, who was never going to win that. And he did seven minutes of additional time. Goodness me, Everton could win the match with that amount. What was the handball, actually? In second thought. From the Corre. And Mason Mount to stand over the corner. Sterling. Dribbling inwards. Back to Kante. Kante! And it's two. For Engolo Kante. Four for Chelsea. It was not a deserved win for Chelsea at all. Everton were by far the better side today. But it's just the goals that are at the end of the day that matter. And you can see the Chelsea fans ecstatic. Everton fans left the stadium a long time ago. Still believing they had a say in this. It's just out of reach for Pickford, unfortunately. And Deli Alley to kick off probably the last chance for Everton. Just to narrow down the margin. At least they won't be. If they could sink as low as Nottingham Forest have. In fact, if they lose this by this margin, they'll go bottom. Alan, Mikolenko, Lewin, Decore, and just before they had the chance to attack, Chelsea are happy to hear the final whistle go. Booze around Goodison Park, Pickford upset, Everton fans upset. Very, very unfortunate result. But thanks for watching, guys. Please do drop a like and subscribe. You can't expect the next video to drop until about Sunday I'll be off tomorrow for um, a celebration so um, but please do drop a like and subscribe comment if you're enjoying this series and just leave good vibes um, okay bye